let's take a couple minutes to look at Apple Configurator and how you can install profiles and also create restrictions on Configurator to enhance your management of the devices in a one-to-one -one classroom. To get started, let's open up Configurator. If you don't happen to have the icon in your dock, like I do at the base of my screen, you can double click on the hard drive and then come over here to Applications and you can see Configurator right there. Now to get started with a, a brand new Bretford SYN cart and a MacBook Pro that hasn't yet had anything established on the Configurator software, what you're going to want to do is switch supervision to on. In so doing, you're able to either create or install profiles that have been pre-written, and you're also able to set up restrictions on the iPads that will help you control what students have access to and then also enhance their educational experience with the iPad. And to install a profile in Configurator, come down here and click on the plus sign and then you're given two options. We're going to pick the first one since we have these profiles already written for us and I've downloaded it to my desktop. I can click on the file and then click open and then the profile appears right here. For me to do anything else with a profile, all I have to do is check it and then hit prepare once I've connected the sync cart to my MacBook Pro through the USB hub. And you're all set to go. Apple Configurator will push out the profile to all your devices and then when you open any one of the devices you'll see that it should pick up the Wi-Fi connectivity in your classroom automatically. When a new profile is pushed out, to delete the profile from Configurator, click on it once to highlight it in blue, hit the minus button, and then confirm that you want to delete the profile. And it's just that easy. I'm going to add that profile back, and then we can go into building some restrictions on the profile to help us manage the iPad devices. Let's take a moment to look at restrictions. Double click on the Wi-Fi profile that you've installed and then come over here and click on restrictions. Since restrictions haven't yet been established for uh, this configurator software on, the, on this particular MacBook, I come to this window, I'm going to click on configure and here you can see that you have three different menus for restrictions. At Bogan High School we default to not allowing the camera as well as turning off photo sharing and photo streaming. We also take off iMessage, voice dialing in Siri, as well as our students' ability to install or remove any of the apps that we've put onto the devices. We also don't want to allow in-app purchases. We turn off the iCloud functions. For applications, at Bogan High School we take off YouTube, iTunes, and Game Center. However, we do leave all of Safari active. For media content at Bogan High School, we leave the ratings region set as the United States. We don't change any of these features. However, we do cut off playback of explicit music and we do cut off sexual content from the iBook store. Since we do leave the iBook store active on the iPads, we wouldn't want our students to find themselves looking at content that would definitely raise some eyebrows with their parents and guardians. Once you've gone through all three restrictions menus, you're pretty much set. Your next step is to click save and then check the profile you want to install on the iPads. At this point, take a moment to make sure that all of your iPads are properly connected to their sync cables in the Bretford sync cart. Then take the white cable out of the top of the sync cart and plug that cable into your MacBook Pro. Once that's done, click prepare, sit back, relax, and give the cart a few minutes for all the syncing to take place.